So a warm welcome to this interview section with Crowd1 leaders from across the world, where today I have four leading leaders with me. And we're going to talk about entrepreneurship and also how starting your own business really can have an impact and change your life. Because also at the accelerating speed that the world is at the moment, we truly need leaders, but not only leaders, we need change makers. I thought I would start with ladies first, and also because storytelling is such a source of inspiration. So Carmen, I know that you are you know, very much like everyone else into women empowerment that really started with you empowering yourself. And that sort of also was ignited when you joined Crowd1. So tell us a bit about your story and why you joined Crowd1. Uh, because like at that moment, I'm looking for another opportunities because I'm stay home mom all the time. Because like my husband said, you don't, you don't said to me, you don't have to work work because like uh, he don't need me to work just to stay at home and take care of uh, um, my dollars but I just want, want to find a, another value right so at that moment I found crowd one I, I think it's totally changed um, my uh, life because like I think every woman no matter what no matter um, uh, how much money your husband have, how much money your family have, you have to work. You have to work for your own values because like a uh, crowd one is not only um, like changing people's life, the financial life, right? Um, it's changing people's like a lot of uh, things, lots of, lots of values. And I doing this for my daughter because I want to show her like when she going up, uh, grow up, she has to be her own. No matter what, you, she doesn't need to uh, depend the parents. She has her own values. That's what I'm studying with Crow One. And I'm studying Crow One with a really, really hard start because my husband don't let me to do this and lots of fightings, but no matter what, no matter my husband, how hard he stopped me, no matter what my friends told, told me, I I won't do it. That's mm -hmm. my own business. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you've done such a lot in such a short period of time. Yeah, within 14 months, mm -hmm. I'm achieving uh, senior president. Uh, senior president. Mm. Right. So I yeah. want to learn more about how you did it, but let's go through the group and I'll come back to you. And Miriam, you have a, a bit of a similar story, um, but you were at a homestaying mom with a three-month-year-old. Yes. And uh, what I understand, what you told me, you know, you had debts and so forth in the family. Yes. And then your, I think your husband showed you a link to join Crowd1 and sort of tell us the story from there. What happened from there and what changed? Okay, I was uh, at home. Uh, that was 2019. And um, I had no job. Mm -hmm. I was staying at home because I had a three-year-old, three-month-old baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were financially very down. Mm -hmm. And um, we were just wondering what we can do and do it at home because I could not be able to move out. And that time, um, my husband got a link from Bibian. And he told me there's a link that has been sent here and just have a look at it. And when I look at the link I, and, and I went through it, something just told me this is a business that I can do. Mm. And I started contacting the, the lady who has sent the, the, the link, that is Bibian, and she told me to get into the Zoom presentations. I got in the Zoom presentations and I, ha I saw a l so many people giving out s testimonies and I got really interested in the business and I started doing it in the, in the, in the, in the house. Uh, I didn't have any money to start the business. I had to borrow the money to start the business. And what I did is because I had a lot of debts, I had a lot of, we had a lot of debts and uh, financially we were very down. So we had to push this business. So what happened is that um, we borrowed the money and got in the business and we started off with the Zoom presentations. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started contacting people, getting the Zoom. They started seeing the testimonies and they started believing in the business. And that's how we started it off. Yeah. And that's how it took off. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And Tusha, you're yes. from India, like you mentioned. You've been in the industry, in the networking industry for 18 years. Yes. So tell us your story of how you came across Crowd1 and what sort of changed. Um, I applied my sponsor, Mr. Shayan Kumar, who is a senior pres uh, who is a president three-star right now. Mm. Uh, he literally dragged me into this business. 
he came to me one day, we, we were sitting in a coffee shop, and he told me that this is the newest generation business. Uh, but obviously, I was uh, already engaging to another project, so I was just, um, I, I just told him that in some days I will start, I will do that. Means I was making some excuses. Hmm. But uh, very soon, I came to know that this company is basically, uh, is from the 2030, hmm. not from 2019. It landed in the wrong year. Okay, it's a way ahead of time opportunity. And as we can see here, this, all these beautiful ladies done a fantastic, marvelous job, and it has already changed the world as well and the lives of many people. Hmm. Okay, so uh, as the industry is moving and uh, is changing too fast as well, okay, so we also need to uh, change our uh, type of businesses, the opportunity what the crowd owner has given mm -hmm. is literally outstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, no, other, no comparison in the market and I strongly believe that the numbers says the truth. Mm -hmm. What the numbers crowd owner has shown to the industry, we have almost, uh, I think so 25% of the, comparing to the entire industry, we have almost 30 million people right now on board. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing job. No company has ever done that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, so that is how I can into the into this business and right now many people are coming with me and that's my target my goal my goal is that to make them the director presidents and that's where I'm working right mm. now and it really is once again it said so many times in in previous interviews as well that it really is a people's business mm. and I mean that's leadership is a lot about facilitating mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. making other people's grow and yourself as well um, and million yes Milan I mean um, Philippines and um, you came on board I think was it December 2020 to crowd one? Uh, December 2019. Before 2018. 2019. Oh my gosh, that's that's been before uh, lockdown here in Dubai. Yeah. That was February lockdown here last uh, year. And tell us about your journey. Okay, uh, I've been here in Dubai for 13 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I work, and then I started after five years. I started my own business. And I was been uh, working in a real estate, but based in Philippines, but office here in Dubai. Yeah, there's many real estate, but the thing, the commission is not that on the spot. You have to wait monthly for the commission to come. And after that, I started the business in Dubai. But unfortunately, because I have that not big money to start, but you know Dubai is a very expensive city. Mm -hmm. So my business go down three times. I failed, <laughs> actually. And 2019, when I have another business, I just opened my own real estate broking company. And business is shaking, and I have a lot of bills to pay, rent, expensive office rent, and stuff I have to pay. And then Crowd1 came to me. Uh, they introduced me Crowd from Philippines. They told me just, they give me the link, okay? And then they told me to sign up, but there's no explanation. And I'm, I'm not sure what this kind of business they told me. It's uh, games, mobile games, but I don't play games. <laughs> and then, okay, I'll try. Nothing to lose because the time that I joined Crowd, I'm in my lowest point. Mm. So nothing to lose because I don't have anything anymore to lose. So and then when I check the company for 48 hours, I'm working and study everything. And I said, yeah, this company is really great. I know. And then after a few months, yes, three months, I become a director. And that's a big achievement during lockdown. Mm. And this is the most tremendous impact in my life, especially to my finances, really. It's like 180 degrees. I started for 99 euros on this business. When I started in Dubai, I lose a lot of millions. But here, there's 99 euros, and I earn my millions in dirhams. Oh, mm. fantastic. That's really, and then not only that, I really help a lot of uh, expats, especially Filipinos who are working here during pandemic. They lose their job, 50% off of the salary, and really they're looking something to survive. And through Crowd1, I really help a lot of people, really. And now they are earning mm. every month, at least not only one person I help, 
but the entire family. That's the good thing of Crowd1. Mm -hmm. I'm very thankful of Crowd1 that they introduced mm -hmm. Crowd to me. Mm -hmm. And, and, and speaking of sort of the business aspect of it, to, to maybe also, because it's a lot about education, because not everybody comes on board maybe knowing the business model. Mm. So if, if each of you, you know, how do you view the business model? If someone wants to come in and, and start their business, because there are three stages you can come in um, as a customer, as a member, mm. and so forth. How would you sort of navigate someone? How, how do you approach someone who's coming in? What, what are sort of the traits that they need to have to be able to start off in Crowd1? Let's start with you. So basically, uh, as we are right now more into consumerism, and uh, I specifically I like most is the new packages. Okay, mm -hmm. new packages are incredible. Uh, I think so. The the consumers means that all our new people are getting more than what they are paying, mm -hmm. more than well uh, well more than hundred euros, hundred and nine euros. Uh, so the products coming in and the company what the products are launching into the year 2021, those are amazing. The amazing product line. There is no other other things like uh, what Crowd One is giving to the people, and there is a whole bucket of product. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like one thing that um, Mr. Kenny told the other day that you cannot depend only on the one product like he gave the example about the travel okay so here with the uh, in the in the crowd one uh, basket you can have gaming travel education related all the products right? and right now the planet IX is obviously going to make a big havoc in the industry no doubt about it so specifically because I came from the product based background okay so I like to present the product for the op and then the opportunity, the how the people can make money, because in our days there are too many people, I guess, mm -hmm. too many people, too many examples or the role models like this mm -hmm. who have already changed their life because of particularly Crowd One. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. there are some people who has done tremendously good in their in their past life, but the, some people are there who needed this kind of opportunity at some point of their life, mm -hmm. just like uh, these mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. uh, giving their. Uh, sharing their experience and um, so that is why we have YouTube the social media Facebook the stories like amazing stories like this then obviously I don't think that anyone to think more than this more than once to come up on board and to start this amazing amazing journey with uh, with the crowd one and, and, and also, I mean, to both of you, but Carmen, if I start with you, who also, you know, a lot about women empowerment and also as, as yourself, you know, you didn't want to just be home. You actually wanted to have a profession or a business. What would you say to young girls or women wanting to become um, an entrepreneur, have a business, um, for example, within Crowd1? What's your recommendation to them? Should they, is this a full-time business they can jump onto? No. How should they think? No, yeah. Because like uh, for before Crowd1, I have uh, my own opportunities to build like digital Pro products like another opportunities, but I'm still looking. Um, like I'm still looking, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm not sure if by building my own business is successful or not. So I suggest like every uh, woman um, should keep uh, should keep looking for your own values, and you don't have to. Because before Crow One, I'm really really busy because I have to take care of more, my daughters, mm -hmm. and I have to for the house mm -hmm. <laughs> work, right? It has to prepare my own stuff uh, like the business like I want to have mm -hmm. um, but um, I think uh, Crowd1 is really, really simple because like we just use one mobile phone mm -hmm. and I use mobile phone since like since uh, the business I started. Mm -hmm. I because uh, Crowd1 uh, Crow 19 coming when I joined uh, Crowd1. So everything is shut down. So I just stay at home and take care of my daughter and do whatever I want and use a mobile phone to develop the market. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, like most, uh, like 99% of my members, I never ever <laughs> see them, I, I didn't know them. Yeah, so that's the power of mobile business. So don't, if you are a stay-at-home mom or if you're busy, just uh, as like second, uh, yeah, second job, like you have uh, lots of time to do your own stuff, but just give a couple of hours for Crowd1 to start. But at the beginning, it will be hard, right? But once once you're doing everything is done, your, your, your team gonna 
yeah, grow really fast, duplicate. Mm. Yeah. And I'm also thinking of team, and of course, it's a digital business, and, and the whole core of it is, of course, networking, meaning that, you know, you accumulate people yeah. who yeah. who then, um, through their actions, create a business. Mm -hmm. So how, um, in, in your country, how is the networking business viewed, mm -hmm. and, and how have you accumulated your mm -hmm. team and network? Okay. Um, for me, I've been in network marketing before, and um, what I can say is that Cloud One is one of the business that uh, has really changed my life because this one, as Carmen has said, is that it is a mobile business such that you can be able to do your business at home. Mm. So for the network marketing business that I've been before, it was different because you have to move with products and you know you have to show people the product, you have to train them, you have to show all these things and carry a lot of stuff. But uh, for me, I've been able to accumulate my team through Zoom mm. trainings. You know, we have uh, this Facebook page, we have the, you know, the WhatsApp groups, and that is how we train our people. And you, and you can be able to add as many people as you can, and you can be able to train them mm. at one time. So that is the, that, this is an easier business. Although, what I like telling people is that it is not easy, you have to do it. Mm. It's hard work, you have to persist. In the, in the business, you have to be consistent in, a, in the business, you have to be determined. Mm. So it is not easy that you just come to Crowd1 and make money, mm -hmm. you have to work for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is what uh, I have duplicated in my team. And uh, what I do, I tell my people to do it. Mm. So I have been able to have teams all over uh, Africa. I have uh, people from DRC Congo. I have team in Nigeria. I have team in Tanzania. I have team in South Africa. And what we do, we just do the Zoom and WhatsApp mm. uh, presentations. Eh? And I duplicate. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a really good example of also mentioning that it's not just, you know, laying back and getting a second income. It's actually yes. really yeah. having a business. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important. It is about being an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and, and also a change maker. Yes. But, but also in your um, experience, you've had three years with Crowd1 and you've had, you know, vast experience before that. How do you see the attitude sort of changing towards network marketing and maybe specifically also with Crowd1, who is a game changer in itself? Yeah, really, Crowd1 is a game changer. And of course, it's changing lives. Mm. That's the difference between other networking company that in the traditional one that you have to sell it, that even you don't want to sell it, that even you don't want to believe of the product, but you have to, or else you will not get your commission. Mm -hmm. But in crowd one, okay, because to engage in crowd, we have you have three options, okay? But the good thing in crowd, it's timing what is in the world right now. It's online. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the good thing. You don't need to go out. You just need your phone, your internet. And we are so lucky in UA, it is the number one Wi-Fi in the world, <laughs> internet. Okay, so in crowd, okay, that it will change a lot in networking because you don't need to force people to buy and you don't need to force people to get a lot of accounts mm -hmm. because in crowd, you just need one account and you can start in a free package. Right? That's the good thing. And the good thing, even you don't want to refer, you can still get something out of it through referral. You refer or by a, a being customer, you can get your discount. Mm. And that's a good savings for everyone. Everybody wants discount. And now that you know that there is a discount, why not refer? Because you love your friends, you love your families, your relatives, you will refer it so they can save. By referring, you can get commission. Mm. Yeah. That's the change of the networking. Mm. And not only that, because now we are in the cryptocurrency, and we love crypto right now. Mm. <laughs> and the good thing of crowd, we are earning in euros at the same time. We are earning in cryptocurrency. That's the good thing in crowd. Mm. And we are, as you said, it's a people's business, okay? If you help someone in crowd, at the same time, they're helping you to rank up. You're helping them, you're looking down to your downlines, to your members, but at the same time, you're earning. Before you earn, they have to earn. Mm. That's the good thing of crowd. Mm. 
another thing that, that crosses my mind when it comes to crowd network marketing, because it is about a crowd, about mm. people, is the sense of not only accumulating your own success and money and also facilitating mm. the team members, mm -hmm. but also a sense of contribution of wanting to give back. Yes. I, I find that a lot yeah. when I speak to you yeah. know people within the... Mm -hmm. Is that something that sort of comes with network marketing or crowd network that you also want to sort of give back or help other people? Of course. Yes. Even though you're trying to you know, yes. make your own money. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Tell me. Okay, um, <clears throat> that is something that really, um, even before you, I started earning, I really wanted to help. Mm -hmm. uh, I would see somewhere that I, I wished I could help, but I could not afford. Yes. But yeah. when I joined Crowd1 and uh, now I have seen that I can be able to afford Mm -hmm. I'm able to help so many people. Mm -hmm. um, I have a children home that I visit, mm -hmm. and um, I have taken to them uh, like mattresses, mm -hmm. you know. I've taken to them like beddings and all clothes and all that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Before, I could not afford, but I would just feel, uh, uh, you know, sympathy to them, but I could not afford. But for now, mm -hmm. I am happy that I can be able to help. And also not only maybe the children's home, my parents, mm -hmm. my own parents. And um, they ha maybe there's a way they were living before, but right now uh, I'm happy of what I've done for them. You know, building them new house. You know, you know, you know, making sure that they are living a very good life. I've bought my dad a car. Mm -hmm. My father-in-law. I bought him also a car. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm I'm building. I've built my father's house, and also I I I put electricity. There was no electricity. I put um what we call the uh what do you call it the modern iron sheet mm -hmm. and all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. So my dad is living a very good life, and on the other side, the same to my father-in-law. So I'm excited about Crowd1 because it has changed my life and also not only me, it has changed the life also of the people that I am working mm. with, my downlines. Mm. Most of them, they are, they are really um, happy because their life have been changed. Mm. And uh, I was telling uh, George earlier that in Africa right now, I am aiming at producing the largest number of presidents mm. because I know that we can do it mm. and I feel that these people are gifted and they can make it. Yeah, so Definitely. I know we'll do it. And, and you know, I, I applaud that. I applaud that way of thinking, but, yeah. like all of you, because that truly is a change maker. It's yes. about facilitating about change it. and really leading yeah. by change. Carmen, do you also feel that sort of the sense of contribution, paying it forward, giving yes. back, is that sort yes. of part of... Yes, yes, of course, because I do the donation stuff for like many years before Crowd1. Mm. Um, like, I continue to do this now because I, I think like as a, um, like a, a people, a, a human, you have to do something for the uh, society, right? Because mm -hmm. like I do donation to the Chinese uh, uh, society and I do donation uh, support, I like support for uh, as uh, for the uh, wild animal, as for the lions mm -hmm. uh, in Africa, <laughs> every month. Yeah, I think like uh, we have to um, giving back to our um, like a society, a society right, yeah. uh, in, in the world mm -hmm. to helping people. And for, for our teams, we have uh, the uh, Zoom meetings, and we just uh, teach people to improve themselves from um, in, uh, spiritual, yes, yeah, inside spiritual stuff. And not only we doing crowd one for earning money, we are doing crowd one for helping people, helping others. Mm -hmm. Like we have to, we are not born for our money. We are born for our mm -hmm. world, the whole world. Uh, that is the new leadership. So <laughs> nice to hear. Is that the same for you? And sort of is that within the culture of India as well, of contribution, paying it forward? Yes, obviously, because we all should uh, give back something to the society because we all take it from there. Mm. OK. And uh, obviously, there are many needy people out there who are mm. really need some kind of a support. OK. Mm. Uh, until and unless uh, you, you have that strength how you can support to the others, okay? So it's just like uh, in the aircraft, as the air hostess says, that put on your mask before uh, helping uh, anyone else, okay? So it's something like that. So people who comes to this industry, mm -hmm. comes to the crowd one, they empower themselves before, mm -hmm. 
helping any other uh, anyone else mm -hmm. and so uh, we uh, in india also obviously the charity system or some other uh, means uh, other things whatever we can do yes obviously i would also like to initiate this kind of a campaigns uh, particularly with all my team of crowd one and all our parallel teams as well uh, to help to the society whatever we can do mm -hmm. And, and last but not least, that always those golden nuggets of advice. So to the people, go, girls, boys, men, women, wanting to sort of explore this or in the business who might feel, you know, I'm not really mm. accumulating a lot of um, network or money or whatever it is. What, 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 are the, what are the traits that you need as a leader or as an entrepreneur or as a member um, of a networking company, for example? Carla? Okay, first, of course, focused yeah. okay and always there is the uh, burning desire mm. really mm. that's the real we need to do the burning desire and the passion to do it mm. because you don't if you don't have the passion to do what whatever you're doing you will not achieve anything mm. and mostly you have to be patient mm. but of course before you will earn you need to learn the business that's the important thing. We need to learn and teach the people in your organization, okay? And then just don't give up. Mm. Whatever it takes, you have to do it. As um, Mr. Peter Jacobson just today said, you need, you have your goal. Even it takes time to achieve that goal, but never give up until you go on the finish line. Mm. That's it. Mm. What would you advise? What's your advice? I advise that um, be the inspiration for the others. Mm. I really tell my people or anyone uh, who come to the industry or the crowd one that do not get motivated, mm. get inspired. Mm. Because motivation, what I feel is that is a temporary phenomena. Mm. Okay. But when you get inspired of, uh, with, means because of anyone, okay, then that is a long term process. Okay, let's say when someone comes to the event, okay, and they hear some incredible stories, like whatever the, these people are saying, these are incredible stories, life-changing stories. So someone who gets inspired because of that certain story, that inspiration pulls him out of his comfort zone and pushes him to go out there in the market to complete all their dreams. And it's not their dream. He's not, he or she is not going to fulfill their own dreams, mm -hmm. but of their entire family and maybe of their entire community as well. Mm -hmm. So this is the only platform, as I can see, mm -hmm. where... Uh, we can achieve everything here with the blessings of uh, with the blessings of thousands and thousands of people. So I do not find any other industry which is such 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 good than the network marketing. You can say. And what advice would you give? Okay, um, what I can advise people is that, um, as Peter Jacobson has said about uh, working on yourself first, leadership is very important because you are dealing with people and you are dealing with different types of people. So you have to work on yourself because um, this is a business whereby sometimes you feel very, very low, sometimes you feel angry, sometimes there are a lot of complaining and all this kind of thing. But when you work on yourself, you are able to handle everyone and then you are able to do the business and you are able to teach them to do this, the business too. So in this kind of business, there are ups and downs and um, what you need to do is just focus. You have a goal, remain focused, no matter what, because every industry you have to have challenges. So. For the challenges that you have on that particular time, know that it is a temporary challenge and you're going to overcome. So it is always good to keep focused. Let the challenge come and go, keep focused, and you're going to achieve your dream. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm, I want to say you have to find your why first, then the way will lead you and go there. So you have to know why you are doing this first. And you just, uh, you don't have to listen to others. You just uh, listen to yourself, failing from your heart, because your heart will lead you to whatever you want to go, right? And uh, um, the, the last thing is that we have to have the passions is the first and the focus, focus like, uh, Peter said, we have to uh, keep 
ever go straight, like until we achieve it, no matter how uh, slow or how fast, it doesn't matter as long as you achieve it. And we, uh, we are not uh, work for ourselves, we are working for others as well, and we have to give others first, and then we can get more, mm. right? <laughs> it's a co-creational co um, process. Uh, yeah. It's all interconnected. Yes. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You. And really, sure. I want to applaud all of you for being, you know, true game changers and change makers and leaders and a source of inspiration in the way you both express yourselves, but also how you carry your work yes. in the business. So thank, thank you. you. Thank Good you. luck going yes. forward. Yes. And to all of our viewers, I hope you're inspired. Remember, keep patient, have purpose, and also let your passion flow and see you next time.